Hey guys, it's Isabella here. I'm gonna show you how to get the Island Glow look, so let's get to it. So first we're gonna start off with the base. What I'm gonna be using is the Liquid Glow Skin Perfector and the Velvet Sponge. I'm just gonna put a little bit of the Liquid Glow on the sponge like so and start blending. I usually start on my cheeks to give myself a nice glowy look. I find with the Liquid Glow, it's super nice and lightweight, so it's gonna give you a natural look but still give you that little bit of glowy coverage as well. So the next step is the mineral powder foundation. I really like the mineral foundation because it's super nice and lightweight, but it doesn't clog your pores, which is good too. Um, it is buildable, so you can kind of do a light to medium or full coverage, depending on what you're after, depending if you've got any um, breakouts, which I have. So I'm going to do it a little bit heavier on some spots as well. Alrighty guys, so it's looking good, but um, let's move on to the highlighting. So to do my highlighting, I'm going to be using the Highlight and Glow Stick. There is two shades, we've got Nectar and the other one is Champagne. However, today I'm going to be using the Champagne. So I'm just going to apply the highlight straight onto my finger warm it up a little bit and then I'm just gonna dab it onto my upper cheekbones just to kind of make them stand out and give you that extra glowy look. I'm also gonna put a little bit on my upper brow bone just to make that sort of area pop. So any area on your face that you want to stand out or look a little extra glowy, add that highlight. We're all about the glowy look here. And that is pretty much all I'm gonna add. Of course, no summery look is complete without some bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with the natural bronzer. Um, this one's got a nice matte finish. I'm just gonna apply this one kind of along my cheekbones to give me a bit more definition. And if you feel like you haven't blended your bronzer enough, just keep blending out with your brush like so until you're happy with the consistency on your cheeks and we're done. Let's move on to the brows. I'm going to be using the Precision Brow. Uh, this little guy is pretty cool as it has a brush end and then it also has a super fine tip. So you can get in there and get all the little hair strokes so your brows look nice and natural. Let's go. Once you're happy with the colour and the strokes that you've added in, I'm going to use the brush end just to sort of comb it through and make sure that they look nice and natural. Now that my brows are done, I'm going to move on to my lashes. So I'm going to be using the Fat Lash Mascara. I love this mascara because it's smudge proof. So if you have a cry or if you want to jump into the pool or it's a really hot, sweaty day, your mascara is not going to smudge. Now I do have um, some lash extensions, so I don't need much, but I do like that little bit extra just to sort of make my eyes really stand out. Okay guys, so to finish off this look, I'm going to add a little bit of shine to my lips. I'm going to be using the Sophie Monk Pout Gloss. The colour that I'm using is Tickle. And we are done. Uh, it smells delicious and it makes your lips nice and shiny and super moisturised as well. That completes the Island Glow look. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and it's super easy for you guys to do at home. Mwah.